Hello everybody, this is Steve Osborne and welcome to the Osborne Show. Tonight we have a special guest with us, her name is Shauna Morris. Shauna, would you like to say hi? Hi, how's everybody doing tonight? I'm excited to be on the show. Thank you very much. And uh, Shauna is going to read something uh, this evening. Uh, she's going to read a few poems as well. But uh, she's going to read my autobiography, which uh, she has right there, and uh, I'll let her go to it. Steve Osborne was born on September 19, 1978. He grew up in Enfield and Emsdale of Nova Scotia, now living in Dartmouth, inspired by the gift of poetry he has has been writing for the last 24 years. Steve writes with inspiration, much thought and careful thinking. Because of this, much truth can be found in Steve's poetry. For anybody who has a divine gift of poetry, I encourage you with these words, keep writing and never stop. Because many people are touched by the words of poetry. Many subjects have been written by Steve Osborne. They include topics of spirituality, people, nature, weather, comedy, Christmas, animals, and automobiles. A true rhymer in the way he writes, Steve does this well. His dream is to become a writer of poetry helping people all over the world to see the good way of looking at things through his writing and technique. To reader, have you looked for a new perspective in writing? Do you go after truth in poetry? How about rhymes that make sense in every poem that you do read? Do you like poems that take you places you've never been? How about the beauty of something of which words will take your breath away. When you need to read and listen to Steve's poetry, he can write anytime, any place, and ever experiences writer's block. I, Steve Osborne, wrote these things about myself, and they are all true, for I am a man of truth. And now, ladies and gentlemen, I am going to I'm going to open it up with a poem called Imagine. This is how it reads. Imagine a voice like the rolling thunder. Imagine a voice like the waterfall. Think of having the voice of a lion. Imagine if this was your call. But your calling is special. Your calling is grand. Amazing you are in God's sight. He's the reason why you stand. Encourage one another. Love and do not hate. Try your best to be family. Then you'll appre appreciate those who are around you. The person you call friend. Then you'll dwell with him in this life. Even past the end. That word him could also be her, just so you know. And now Sean is going to share a poem called A Friend in You. A friend in you. I don't know all the answers, but one thing I know is true. About someone who is special is a friend I see in you. Your words are always gentle and you are always kind. Your company is but inviting, like the beautiful sunshine. A true friend is hard to find, like pebbles in the sand. I see the truth in you, and a heart that understands. Let you and I be friends, forever and a day, because friends are always special, and they are always to stay. This is a very nice poem. It's 
a friend I never thought I could find. It's like, it's true, it's like the pebbles in the sand. Like, you never know, you never what, know what pedal, pebble you're going to pick up and find. A friend like you is unique and always full of sunshine. Thank you very much. Those are very kind words. You're welcome. From someone who was kind. Now, I'm going to share some poems with you. Just flip them through the pages. Don't mind me, it's okay. Just doing what I do best. This poem I'm going to share is called By the Docks. Walking by the water on the wooden docks, watching the buskers earn a couple of bucks. People come from everywhere to hear others play. A guitar and accordion will make their day. Many cruise ships enter in, and people visit us. While they're here, they look around and don't pick up a fuss. People smile and say thanks for a very lovely meal. They go home and sail away, the captain's at the wheel. This little city called Halifax is a place to be. When the fog comes rolling in, it's very hard to see. Now, isn't that the truth? Yes. When uh, when the fog comes rolling in, it's hard to see. Just will be through looking for something appropriate here. Uh, this is a comedy one. Kind of funny. It's called Campy. Camping is a lot of fun. There is a lot of flies. Better put some bug spray on unless you want to die. Watch out for the shining sun. Put on some suntan lotion. Then it will be safe for you to go swim into the ocean. But watch out for the undertow. It will pull you out. And everyone who's on the beach, who's on the beach will hear you scream and shout. The boats will come and rescue you. You'll get a life preserver. Then you will think to yourself, this day I will remember. Going home, you cannot wait to lie down in bed again. As you fall into a sleep, you will say amen. And we all can relate to uh, Canada Day, can't we? It is a special day where we uh, celebrate Canada's birthday. This next poem I'm going to share is called Canada Day. Sitting down outside on a Friday night, there's people all around to hear a band tonight. It's Canada Day. The crowd is here. I hope the fog will soon disappear. Then we will see our neighbors once more, over in Dartmouth as we did before. Fireworks will be in the sky. We'll see them soar really, really high. Then on our way, we all will go. We'll be back next year. See another show. There, there, there we go. Nose in the fog. Oh, my. This next poem I'm going to share is called Carrie. A very special poem. I thought I dropped a penny from my pocket. I looked, but it was still there. It's only a penny, I said. Why shouldn't I care? I should care, says I. Me, oh my. All pennies to add up. For the poor I know, they won't say no when pennies bring them some luck. Through the town and all around, 
people are in need for love. If they're faithful in the Lord, they'll receive good from up above. Care for those who need it. Let care come to the poor. Care for young little children. Care for all, that's for sure. And now we're going to hear a poem from Shauna. And uh, I'll, I'll let you share that one. It's called Graceful Walk. Spread your love with equal grace towards a be beautiful human race. To be kind to your neighbor and your friend. May it ever go and never end. Amazing grace from the God of love, floating around as pure as a dove. Moments come around you, and for me, cherish them so tenderly. Think good thoughts for now and all time. Keep yourself from committing a crime. Do that good deed when it is in your hand. Spread your good words from land to land. Of all Abide all rules as good as you can. Be a good woman or man. Be sincere in all that you do. Then love from God will carry you through. That is a very nice poem. Where does your words come from and what inspires you most when you write a poem? Especially like this one, A Graceful Walk. Um. I get my inspiration from the Holy Spirit, and uh, I listen to that still quiet voice inside my head, that little whisper, and uh, most of the time it comes through thoughts, inspirations, feelings, and I write down what I hear. That's awesome. Yeah. Oh, that's, that's how there's, that's how so many poems accumulated over the years. That's good. A thousand and thirty. Wow, that's a lot of poem. You write more poetry than I do. Yeah. Thank you. Yes, I think I'm going to pick it up again. Yes. You should do that. Yes. Once you have the gift, it's easy to pick it back up again. Yes, it is. If you're riding a bike, you'll never forget. That's true. Yes, yeah. it is true. Yeah. Yes. So next poem I'm going to share is called My Cat Daisy. I have a cat. Her name is Daisy. Sometimes she can drive me crazy. She likes to chew on blinds and laces. She has gone through many spaces. Sometimes cats say disobey. That's what they do every day. If you listen carefully, then you'll hear them purr gracefully. When they're hungry, they will eat. When they're tired, they will sleep. Cats will shed their fur each day, and they always have time to play. Whenever I'm away or not at home, she's quite content at being alone. But when I walk through the door, I see my pen on the floor. I pick it up and put it away until I see it another day. I love my cat and she loves me. When she's hurling, I let her be. Because I know it won't be small, it's another big hairy fur ball. I clean it up and that is that. The story of my white furry cat. <laughs> <laughs> that is good. Yeah, I like that one. It's cute. It is. It is. Uh, oh, there's a good one called Challenge. A challenge is before me. No man could ever solve. Wisdom I seek from God alone, reigning from above. His name is above all others. He is the righteous one. Forever he is with us. He is the Father's Son. All the answers strive within the heavenly gates. Pray sincerely with all your heart. No longer will you have to wait. Uh, have patience, friend. 
while waiting for the king. Stay firm in your faith, and you will have everything. And that's just uh, one of my poems that I wrote in the spiritual section. And uh, I do have several of those. And uh, I have several of others as well. And like, you know, people, and the weather, and nature, comedy. So uh, I kind of scattered all over the place in the binders. And uh, every once in a while you hear one that I like, hit home. And then you might hear one that's a little bit different. But uh, all in all, they're all good poems. And they come from the same source. This one is a cute one called Children Crossing. I see the children on the crosswalk. Sorry. I see the children on the sidewalk. As they come closer, I hear them talk. On the crosswalk is where I stand. They walk by me hand in hand. Little children are dear to me. They're always trusting and carefree. Happy I am to see them smile. It beats anything by a mile. I must be like them inside. Humble in heart, not wanting to hide. Not hiding from mom and dad. I love for them. They make me glad. Now uh, here's a funny one called Clumsy Drivers. Children crossing one by one. See them walking under the sun. Crossing guards moving to and fro. Raising their sides let the motorists know. That they need to come to a stop. If they don't, oh comes the cop. Ticket them so they can go away. No longer do they need to stay. Still some people don't know how to drive. I thank the Lord for keeping me alive. If it wasn't for him, then I suppose some clumsy driver would have flattened my toes. Isn't that cute? Alright, here's a couple of good, two good poems here I'm going to share with you, but uh, first before I do that, I'm going to let Shauna share a poem. Called Butterflies and Birds. Speak up! Don't stop! Keep on writing each word. Talk about the butterfly. Talk about the bird. See those colorful wings, how de delicate they are. With each flutter of the wing, they travel really far. Birds come in many sizes, from eagle to the sparrow. See them fly so high, like they put on their show. May I respect I give them. They are made with much love. But the purest of them is one called the white dove. I knew a friend of mine, she had a dove, and they're the most beautiful, precious birds that you can ever oh, see. Oh, yes? Yes. <coughs> Excuse me, folks. As you also know, I'm uh, still getting over cold. But, uh,. It's a lot less now than what it used to be. That's good. Beautiful dove. Your friend has one. Yes. Wow. I wouldn't. She let it go, though. Oh. She let it go and fly and then be free as a bird. Yes. It's good. It's good to be free. I wrote a poem called Free one time. I don't know if it's in here. Hmm. 
Here's my other binder. Let me see. I'm just looking for my poem called Free. And uh, it should be in here. Yeah, there it is. Picture of a dove. I have a picture here of the world, and a dove is in front of the world. Pretty cool. That is cool. I'll share this poem. Walking on the dock by the sea, smiling because I'm happy. In the blink of an eye, I say, oh my, I realize then that I am free. Free to fly high up in the sky, in my imagination. To soar up above with wings like a dove, looking down upon God's creation. What an appropriate poem to share with everybody. Yes. Okay, now I'm going to share a poem here called The Colorful Flowers. I walked through the park and looked at a flower. It stood up nice and tall, like a high tower. Beautiful and colorful, the flower grew. Others were there, more than a few. From red to orange, pink and white, they shone brightly in the sunlight. Flowers so pretty, from a seed they sprout. They grow up on their own. That's what it's all about. This next poem is a special one to me and dear to my heart. It's called Colorful Journey. And I dedicated it to Lori Osborne, my sister. The sun is always shining. And as you all should know, God gave us his promise through his colorful rainbow. Up three little steps lays a field of green grass. Over the golden bridge by the river I had to pass. Before me laid a path covered with pure white stones. Onward I did walk, for I was all alone. As I walked along the path, to my left I did see a beautiful gazebo standing tall in front of me. I paused for but a moment, and what before my eyes should appear, a woman dressed in white, her voice I wanted to hear. Instead of a voice of feeling, a loved one came to me, a name so pure and holy, my sister called Lori. That is a nice poem. Yeah. I'm going to share with you people a poem here called Colorful Windows. Before you walk in, look and see colorful windows for you and me. To look at and admire flowers that are higher. Seems like great achievements being made over time. As each one blossomed, the vine would climb. Over anything and everything put in its way. Growing taller and brighter and always okay. Colors like a rainbow. Blue, red, green, and white. Orange, gold, and yellow, shining in light. Each color unique, pleasing to the eye. On the window it will stay, as I leave and say goodbye. That would almost be a good poem to close with. <laughs> I'm not going to do that with uh, right yet, <laughs> as we have some more poetry for people to hear. And uh, Sean is going to share one right now. It is called Puzzles. A world is full of puzzles. Which one do I choose? 
Something nice and interesting? It's good for me and you. A galaxy far away. A starship in the air. A tulip in full bloom. A valley flat and bare. Wonderful roses in early summer. And a garden filled of flowers that stand up nice and tall. Like many high towers. It's a puzzle piece is missing. Do you hang it on the wall? Or do you throw it out, let it crumble, let it fall? Question life puzzled every day. Are you sure that it's complete? Pieces that are for you to grab, let them rest and fall down by your feet. It seems like a world is full of puzzles. You never know what's around each corner or each turn, but it's a good puzzle because Whatever matters to your heart is a true puzzle indeed. It's just to figure it out as life goes. Yes, very true. Very true. The world is full of puzzles. Mm. This next poem I'm going to share is called Coming Home. Soaring through the galaxy skies, into the Milky Way, passing by the stars one by one, I know things will be okay. Traveling faster than the speed of light, galaxies pass by me. And what before my very eyes, a golden door I did see. I approached it and knocked three times, and the door it opened wide. Come in, said a voice, you have no choice. From me you cannot hide. In I went in, and before my eyes, there was family and friends everywhere. We hugged, kissed, and shook some hands. There was laughter here and there. I'm finally home, I said aloud. Then I worship the God of love. No more. Will I have to lie down below? Yes, now I am home up above. Now, wouldn't that be nice that we could all go home right now? Yes, it would be. Get away from this whole world. Hmm. Ah, uh, this is a cute one. It's called Cool Rhymes About a Bird. Words are cool when they rhyme. It can be done all the time. Pick up your pen and write a word. You can write about a bird. With wings so fine, they fly so high, up above in the deep blue sky. They make their nest high up in a tree, safe from people like you and me. And uh, Sean is going to share one now. Called Love and All. Oh, a nice poem about love. Yes. Love is like a river flowing merrily. Then opening up into the deep blue sea. Love is like an open door or like an open window. Love is like many colors that show up in a rainbow. Love soars above the mountains. Love brings light into the heart. Everybody is connected. Everybody plays a part. Love is a deep feeling in the depths of the soul. Love comes from God and makes a person feel whole. Love can be a very scary thing for some people. I know um, it's something to be challenged, but when you can love yourself and love a friend and have love for a friend, because love, you can love so many different people. It's just how it's, it, it is, and love keeps everything going. You just spoke the truth right there, Sean. 
Very true. And uh, I'm going to share a poem right here. I'm going to close with this poem. It's called Creation. Beautiful, serene, lovely, and green describes the grass and the trees. Majestic, powerful, awesome, and unique describes the world that we see. How graceful is a deer and why is the ant? They have no meaning of the word can't. God created the, the heavens. He created the earth. By the breath of his nostrils, he gave us our birth. Open your eyes, O oh people. Look around and see the beauty of God's creation and his love for you and me. This is Steve Osborne and Shauna Morris. Thank you for being on the show. Thank you for inviting me to come out and be on the show and to be part of your show. Thank you. You're welcome. And thank you all for listening and uh, hope that uh, you will tune in tomorrow night at 7 o'clock for uh, some more po good poems. And uh, this is Steve Osborne and Shauna Moore signing off from the Osborne Show. Good night. Good night.